Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I'm Nye. We had a particularly bad run just now. Well, last time at least, with Cat Got Your Tongue. Um, let's try with Darkness Falls. So what's the deal here? So we got Curse the Lost. We are running with, looks like, Pentagram, Dead Bird Hor Hor Babylon, Sacrificial Dagger, Fear Shot, and, uh... I can't remember the name of that one. We're playing as Eve, obviously. I can't remember the name of the active item we have here. Damn it. Whatever that active item is, uh, you know, we have it. If I remember correctly, you hurt yourself to gain damage. And then also, if you do it right, um, temporary uh, invincibility. Which is all well and good, but that's not why you would use it. At least, not my opinion. Use it because it gives you a damage up. Blow up that TNT. Hoping for a Zelda room. This fear shot should be really good. I was actually kind of worried about the Darkness Falls because I thought it was going to be a dark run. Like that first challenge mode is. When I'm, believe me, I am very glad that it is not. Quarter right off the bat. We do have a key, so if I can find our shop... We could be in for some serious good times here. Let's use that bomb right there. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see if we can pop this right here. Excellent. I'm glad my mental map was indeed working how I thought it was. I don't need to blow this up because they don't do anything. Okay. Um, ooh, that's nice. That's real nice. Let's see, so let's go ahead and explore just a little bit more. I believe this is worth it. Um, I mean, not really. Do I want to go back in there? I really do. Is it worth for an entire spirit heart? Probably not, honestly. Well, it just paid us back, so yes, yes it is. Probably not, honestly. <laughs> so we didn't gain or lose anything there. Uh, I can't remember if this spacebar item uh, uses red hearts or spirit hearts. Ow. That should not have... I should not have let, it, let that take dam deal damage to me. Okay, let's go ahead and pop this right here. Got a key. The stars. Well, that's... Really worthless in challenge mode, because there are no item rooms. So I don't know what I can do with that. We do have 33 cents. It's enough to make an entire shop worthwhile. And wouldn't you know, there's a shop right there. Let's see what we're going to get out of it. Um, okay, so first of all, amazing. Good stuff. I'm also going to pick up one of these. And one of these. And we're going to leave. Okay, let's go in here, and I'm curious. Good. That's exactly what I was hoping. So that uses red hearts, and gives me a chance to actually, uh, get in on enemies, force myself into, uh, curse mode. Let's see, can I... Damn, I was hoping he wouldn't actually get that hit off. So I was hoping to use, uh, Sacrificial Dagger here to deal some damage to him. Blood Clot with a damage and range up is great. Go ahead and go on down. Okay. We have an arcade right off the bat. Let's go ahead and use that. Get some money out of our curse. And then let's see if we can get one of these two guys to give us a key. Luck down. Well, that's really bad. Blood bag isn't, though. Okay, we have the stars. You're giving me money. One of the two of you needs to pay out with a key. Hmm. Okay, let's go exploring. Now, we just forced uh, a lot of stuff to go ha to happen just now, but mostly damage. Uh, the virus punishes people even more for touching us. And we already have a lot of punishment on opponents for touching us. This is a really good thing for us. Normally, 
I'm not into this type of run. I don't like, like, I punish you for damaging me runs because at the end of the day, I'm getting damaged. That said, in this case, working pretty darn well, I do have to say. Okay, let's uh, pop that to give us damage. So what we're really going to want to see, partially, is health, just so we can keep on popping that and dealing damage to ourselves. Tears up is excellent. And in the shop we find... Hmm, good, good question. Uh, we're going to go for the fanny pack. Because I think that increases your drop rate at the end of rooms, from what I'm get, from what I'm, uh, from what I think I've seen at least. Let's go ahead and pop this. Get the horrible curse. Do a little more damage to my opponents. Okay, what is up with you? Get some fear on you. So we're getting a lot of keys, but we're not getting a lot of. I want a little bit more money because I wouldn't mind getting the map. Uh, I do have one bomb. There's not a whole ton of locations for the secret room to hide. So I think we should do... We're going to grab this. There's a reason. First, we're going to go here, and I'm going to drop my one bomb right there. Secret room donates three bombs to me. Okay. Not a terrible trade. Now we're going to go, at least into the boss room. And then what we'll do is we'll immediately pop a uh, razor blade, and that should give me some more damage, but also put me immediately into curse state. So we should have a lot of damage for a fight with Larry Jr. Not that we're probably going to need it, because it is Larry Jr. I don't know where that bomb, that troll bomb came from, but man, that was amazing timing. Get a little bit of health, and the devil is offering me Abaddon and the Mark. Uh, we will grab the Mark first. We will grab Abaddon second. And we are just going to laugh our way to the bank. Okay, wow. Uh, this is turning out to be some run. Okay, immediately into here. Unfortunately, uh, not a good room, so we're just going to leave because I don't want to deal with that. And instead, we'll pop into here. Man, the damage that we are doing. Okay, let's explore. That's probably the shop. What is this? Mysterious paper? No idea what it does. This room, I am all about. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice that that was right next to me. Now, what just gave me the Celtic Cross... Or the Celtic Cross effect? What just did that? I am very much curious what just gave us the protection. Was that the mysterious paper? Two of spades? Let's double our keys right now. I'm 100% okay with that. Got the damage that we have, the damage output. I uh, remember we are in permanent curse state at the moment. Like it's not gonna go away anytime soon. Hmm. I like Lucky Toe. Luck up's good. Should counter the luck down that we had earlier. Uh, let's go ahead and pop one of these right here. Okay. Give me a little bit more health. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this. Pop one of those. Pheromones. Okay. But yeah, the damage up right now is absolutely phenomenal. And, uh... All the other effects we have added together are just making some really good stuff. Black Candle's really good. I'm really enjoying the fact that we don't have to deal with freaking curses all night long. Okay. Nope. And... Wonderful. Razor Blade has kind of ceased being something that I want on my run, so we're going to hope that we can get something that can replace uh, Razor Blade. I wouldn't mind something like, say, the Nail. Because the problem is Razor Blade has ceased being useful at all. It really has. It ceased being anything more than just a item taking a slot, because I'm not going to hurt myself because I don't have renewable... Um, I can't renew my health like I could with red heart damage. Now, the good news about that is that's that that's a good thing. Um, because the big reason I want Razor Blade was to put myself into poor Babylon mode, and we're there permanently now. Okay, so now we have two orbitals. Um, let's go ahead and just didn't mean to actually play that. Let's go ahead and bomb that. 
I don't know what monkey paw does, but I don't want it. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave. I don't think there's going to be... I, I don't think we're gonna be seeing a uh, guppy this run, as much as it pains me to say that. We're just not getting, um... Just not getting the stuff we need to make guppy happen. Uh, so I don't think that's gonna happen. And I don't think I'd call this a one run yet either, because it's not quite that level of powerful. It's getting pretty close though. So that boss room will definitely happen in a second. There we go. And boss room is offering me a single brown chest. That's probably not gonna happen. I don't really have any interest in such a room. Okay, well, that sucks. I don't like I don't really ever like taking damage, and that was a really sad and avoidable bit of damage to take in the first place. Over here we find stuff and things generally. Lamentable stuff and things. Okay, you, you. What are you finding? Leave me alone. That red heart's worthless. Worthless, I say. Okay, can, can you guys just blow up next to things that would cause me happiness? There was a certain amount of happiness there. I'll take it. Pheromones and telepills, which sends me right next door. Unfortunately, I have no way to... Well, I can blow this up. Damn. <laughs> That's exactly useless to me. It is hard to be more than that useless to me at the moment. I don't know. There's, I, I suppose we could find something that would be more useless than that, but it, we, you'd be hard-pressed. Okay, this looks like a boss corridor. It's beginning to look even more like a boss corridor. Have we found the shop yet? I don't think we found anything even even resemb. Yes, we did. It was up. It was up top there. That's right. Not liking this room. Had a high chance to damage me. But I have a high chance to damage Chubb, so I guess that's fine, right? By chance, we mean Chubb, prepare to beat your maker. Don't really have any intention of really using the Sacrificial Dagger much. Just too high of a chance of me taking damage. Screw, tears plus shot speed up, neat. Oh, you're just giving me everything, aren't you? Okay, do we have any guppy anything right now? Look, we're gonna go for it. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Okay. Let's see what I can do to make this, or to make that last item happen. See, the thing is, though, do I want to spend that much on, do I want to spend three spirit hearts on a guppy's paw that I can't even use? I mean, believe me, I didn't even want guppy, I, I didn't even want guppy's collar. That wasn't something I even wanted. Because it's not useful to me. Like, it's... If I get that far gone, we're dead. You can't rely on it. Ooh, luck up. Nice. Tears up. These are all really nice effects. Okay, let's see what we can do... in here. Well, I gotta luck up just now. Make this happen for me. That's a pretty fly. So that gives us just about all the uh, defense we can have right now. There's potentially better forms of defense that we could be getting, but um, come on, blue heart, blue heart, balls of steel. Come on. Okay, stop giving me keys. I need bombs. Thank you. Give me more of those. There goes all of my all of our money. So that's not pleasant. That should be the secret room, yeah? No? Damn. Okay, well I'm not really willing to 
risk dying. You know what I am willing to do, though? I am willing to go into this boss trap room right now. Hey, look, there's that boss we just fought and killed. It was even easier this time. Get killed. Die already. Okay, well, that gave us eight cents. I really wish I hadn't gambled all that money away because that would have been a really easy way to go to the shop. It's not going to happen, though. Okay, let's get out of here. We've got a pretty okay run going. Could be better. Really want Guppy's paw just for the chance of getting Guppy, but we're not going to do it because that would be silly. Would get me killed. I don't want to risk that kind of a loss to this run. How did you not die? Let's go this way. Okay. One, two. Excellent. Um, I almost want that. If I had some other... Oh, damn it. If I had some other way... To, if I had, like... Oh, crap. If I had Mom's Purse, I would do it. But... Nothing I want in there. Okay, we need to find some way to get some more health and quick. Because things are not exactly going my way right now. We're finding ourselves taking a lot more damage than I am comfortable with. From a lot more sources than I am comfortable with. Some of which I should be able to dodge, honestly, if I was any kinds of good at this game. Will of Fortune, I don't want... God, I really... I need bombs. Because that room could be a source of so many uh, curse hearts. Anything interesting up here? Get away from me, Zubat. Nope. Get away from me. Oh, come on. That's gonna screw up that bridge, so I can't get in there even if I wanted to. Oh, God. We are getting so screwed by circumstances here. Okay. Oh, I'm not pleased with anything about this room. Red heart that I can't use. I mean, you knew it was going to happen, right? I mean, you knew that was going to be a red heart just based on the color of the enemy. Okay, hold on. I keep on hoping for like a balls of steel or something. The fact that we just keep on not getting one is just so disappointing. Oh, good. Just some more random damage. Hematomesis. Luck up. Come on. Straight to the deal to devil. Who gives me... Oh, God, I wish I could. I wish I could. Is it worth it to try it? Would it... Is it worth it to see if I could survive it? There's so many hearts on this floor. Let's do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Revive, revive. Damn it. <laughs> oh, damn. Sorry, guys. I had to try it. Ah, okay. I'll see you guys next time.